topic under which we'll be represent, presenting our papers is refugee crisis. And uh, the two topics that we have taken is one is migration and the migration and policy debate. And other one is refugee situation and Europe. My paper deals with refugee situation and Europe. The research, the research question that I that my paper will be dealing with are uh, how can Europe benefit from the refugee crisis? Seeing that the refugee situation has increased, has suddenly risen up, or the numbers of refugees has, uh, this is a surge in the number of refugees in and near, around the borders of Europe. In. So what could be the uh, solutions around it? Can countries accept your uh, refugees, whether it will benefit them or how it will benefit? So my papers deal with all these questions and uh, for uh, giving it support with data, I have, to, I have uh, taken the example of Germany and showed how Germany has benefited out of uh, refugee situation while accepting refugees in their country. And also I've given the example of some other countries, example like Sweden, which is also benefiting out of the refugee uh, situation. So in, in all this uh, research paper is a sort of a policy brief, which indicates the country, suggests the countries to accept refugee uh, though the impact, the initial uh, public expenditure will be at large, but then slowly and steadily, uh, the country will start benefiting out of this refugee situation. Also, it also deals with how this refugee situation can handle the, uh, the demographic crisis that these countries are facing. All over Europe and even in USA, Japan uh, country, Japan, uh, there's a problem of demographic crisis. That is the aging population is rising and uh, the number of working population is reducing. So refugee population can be one solution. Uh, acceptance of refugees can be one solution where these countries can benefit. The motivation behind this research was uh, to see, to actually analyze what is the attitude, pessimistic attitude around the refugee crisis and how, again, how it can benefit, how the countries of Europe can benefit out of this situation. The stakeholders that uh, uh, my research questions in research question involve, I've, I've just taken the broader stakeholders, are like Western countries, European governments, voters and refugees. Why voters? As because uh, when, it, uh, when a country proposes a flexible refugee population, there is always a fear of the uh, local people. How will they react to that policy and what effect will it uh, put on their vote backs? That's why I've taken voters as one stakeholders. Uh, I think, uh, uh, yeah, yes, you can take a hit. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Yash, and I'm a fourth year undergrad researcher of international relations at Shivnadi University. Uh, in our broader theme of the refugee crisis, I'll be uh, looking at the Indian diaspora and the major issues associated with the policy debate. So, in my research paper, I'll primarily be emphasizing upon the twofold policy approach that has exacerbated the refugee crisis so far. Uh, could you please move to the next slide? Uh, in terms of the key stakeholders, I believe that the uh, refugee from Myanmar, Sri Lanka, Afghanistan, Pakistan uh, are at stake and the special emphasis would be on uh, the ones that India disregards completely. Uh, by disregard, I, guess, I believe that uh, India doesn't assist or guide refugees from Afghanistan, Myanmar and other neighboring countries from where uh, they step in and uh, the role played in assisting the refugees is limited to uh, the Tibetan and Sri Lankan refugees, and the rest of them, uh, rest of them, is, uh, are taken care of by the UNHCR, uh, which makes it next to impossible uh, to make it a smooth process for them. Uh, coming to uh, the research questions, so uh, three of the major questions concerning policy debate in India on refugees would be the uh, would be uh, the unwillingness of the Indian government to look out for a win-win approach towards the crisis. And uh, secondly, the traditional approach to things won't take us far and there's a, a need to implement other measures to use the crisis to our own advantage. Secondly, uh, there's this absence of a domestic law on refugees and dealing with the Foreigners Act is another key issue that concerns India and will be looked at in the research paper. Last but not the least, the new and upcoming uh, bills slash acts on citizenship is uh, are also something that uh, Need, uh, need to be discussed. Um, my interests and motivation for the research are associated with the international image of the Indian side on the uh, on this intensified debate of the global refugee crisis. And drawing comparison from other states, we can take inspiration and take a step in uh, adopting a different approach towards the issue uh, in view of bragging about the pre-existing difficulties that we have had to face. 
Thank you so much. So in, yeah, so in and all, our uh, papers try to deal with and provide a, a probable solution to countries concerning uh, even in Indian context and also to other uh, European countries around refugee crisis. So that's it, that's it from our side. Shashikala, can I stop sharing? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you.